Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Today we're building a miniature iMac computer. Like most of my projects, the first step is to model everything. Once I have my model, I can print everything. During the design process, I really wanted to make this iMac as thin as possible. And when I was modeling this, I saw a few different ways where I could make this system even thinner. So I'm just going to show you what this would look like if I didn't modify the Raspberry Pi at all. Now I know that it's not going to close right now because again, I'm just showing you what it would look like. But if you see what I'm seeing, there are some things we can do to make this even thinner. Yep, we're gonna get rid of a few extra ports. Now, I don't think everybody needs, you know, four USB ports. I think you'll be just fine with two, so we can get rid of these. And I'm not gonna be using ethernet because, you know, I don't like wires, you know, I'm a Mac person. So God forbid you have a wire coming out of your computer, you know? So we're gonna get rid of the ethernet ports and two of the top USB ports. So our final iMac is gonna have one USB 2.0 one USB 3.0, no ethernet, but we'll have Bluetooth and Wi-Fi. And if you're a Mac user, that's all you're ever gonna need. And after removing those pesky I.O. ports, everything fits, just like a real iMac. What's really cool about this screen is that you can power it off of the Raspberry Pi. So what I'm doing right here is connecting the 5 volt output from the Raspberry Pi 
to the 5 volt input for the screen. I can power both the screen and the Raspberry Pi from one power input. Now that we have power taken care of, I need to connect the HDMI cable from the screen to the Raspberry Pi. This is a ribbon cable and this allows me to mount the HDMI connector in a really low profile way. I couldn't use a normal HDMI cable as it would have been too thick and it would have actually come out the side of the screen ruining the whole aesthetic. And as we all know, iMacs are all about aesthetic. Now that we have the HDMI connected, we have to get power to the Raspberry Pi. And to do this, I bought a USB-C extension cable and that's gonna route the power adapter down to the bottom of the iMac so I can plug in from the bottom. I also attached a USB 2.0 port to the bottom of my panel so I can access files, change stuff, and also connect other USB devices down the road if I want to. I'm also plugging in a wireless dongle for my keyboard and mouse setup, so that way I'll permanently have a keyboard and mouse connected to this, but I'll also have the ability to attach other USB devices down the line if I want to do that. In order to get the USB-C extension cable to fit inside my new case, I had to cut down the ends so they could flex enough to fit inside my enclosure. Now that we have all the hardware taken care of, we just have to make it look pretty. I start by applying a thin layer of primer and letting that dry before sanding it down again. Now the stand to the iMac did not print perfectly, but this can be fixed with a little bit of Bondo. This is the front panel, and this is all primed and ready to paint. This is the back panel, and we also have the stand for the iMac along with the little Apple logo. So for the first layer of paint, I applied silver to everything and allowed it to dry for 24 hours. After it dried, I masked everything off and then applied the black layer of paint across all the parts that were black. Right here, I'm masking off all the parts that are going to be black. So I want to keep this bezel, which is about 0.4 inches across, uniform throughout. So I'm just lightly scoring the bottom of the front panel so I know exactly where I have to paint it black. Now that we're done painting, I can begin the final assembly. So right here I'm gluing in the USB-C power cable and I'm going to be putting the USB data cable right on top of this. I'm using hot glue so if down the line I ever have to take this thing apart, it should come apart fairly easily. Unlike the full-size iMac, where cooling was kind of an afterthought, we're going to make sure this mini iMac runs cold. Here I'm applying an aluminum heatsink to the CPU, and I'm also applying a pusher style fan, so this is going to blow cold air throughout the entire case, and it's going to come out these vent holes on the side. 
Now these vent holes also align perfectly for the buttons of the screen. So if you ever have to change anything with the screen settings, you can just push a little pin through there and make your adjustments. And there you have it, a fully functional iMac that can run Minecraft at 1000 FPS. If you guys haven't already, please like and subscribe. I'm going to be probably doing a couple more mini computer builds along with some other random builds that I'm working on. If you guys want me to build anything in particular, leave a comment below and I'll see you guys later. Bye.